Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I have one integral to work on. It's the integral of sine 8x, uh, sine 5x dx. Now, looking at 8x and 5x, thinking of breaking these into smaller expressions of x would be very time consuming. Uh, and therefore, we have to use another technique. It's called the compound angle formula, which goes as follows. We have the integral of sine 8x sine 5x dx. Now, I said when you have sine sine and with big numbers like this, you have to think of another technique. Now, in this case, we're going to use the compound angle formula for cosine. So it's cosine of a minus b. Remember this is equal to cosine of a cosine of b with a minus sign here you have to have a plus sine of a sine of b now at least we have sine sine there which is the expression we have here but if you change the sign here add the sign from minus to plus you're going to get cosine of a plus b this will be equal to cosine of a cosine of b and with the plus sign here you have to have a minus there sine of a sine of b now the term we, we need like i said is the last term there and therefore seeing that the signs here are different we have to subtract the two equations as follows the first minus the second we get this expression minus that expression there which is cosine of a minus b minus cosine of a plus b that's the left hand side this minus that and on the right hand side notice that these cancel because they are the same terms they cancel but this part here that sign will change that sign to plus so these two terms will add basically so we are going to have two sine a sine b now if you look at this expression here is that expression there, except for a and b of course we'll let we'll let a b got 8x and b b got 5x but we have a 2 here and we don't have a 2 there so we have to get rid of these two and to get rid of this we divide by two both sides so what do we get we get half of use square bracket here cosine of a minus b and then we have minus cosine of a plus b like so on the right hand side is just going to be sine of a sine of b nice at this point we're going to set set or let um a be equal to 8x and b be equal to 5x so what do we get watch this expression here how it changes especially this part here watch how this expression change this equation changes i'm going to put half and then i have cosine of 8x minus 5x remember that's a minus b a minus b the first part but we have to have minus now we have a plus b so it will be these two added together cosine of 8x plus 5x that's the left hand side what about the right hand side we're going to just put 8x there and 5x there so this is equal to sine 8x sine 5x like that nice that means uh, this expression here which you see in the integrand there must be replaced by this expression on the left but let's clean up let's simplify this implies half and what do we have inside here we have cosine of 3x 5 8 minus 5 we're talking about 8x minus 5x is 3x and then minus here that is 13x cosine of 13x on the left hand side on the right hand side we have sine of 8x sine of 5x nice now this expression here should take the place of that in the integrand so therefore that integral changes we're going to say therefore the integral of sine 8x sine 8x 
sin 5x dx changes to the integral this expression must take the place of that so half times cosine of 3x minus cosine of 13x and then dx right now let's move to the next page and i have to simplify this part now moving to the next page we are basically saying now uh let me put these papers in order we're now saying uh this integral here will change as follows that will be equal to um let me take half out because it's a constant that times the integral of let me keep these brackets for now cosine of 3x minus cosine of 13x and then we're saying dx now i'm going to distribute half the integral and dx as follows this is equal to half integral of cosine of 3x dx minus half the integral of cosine of 13x dx right at this stage i'm gonna do double substitution there so i'm gonna let u be equal to 3x on the first part and on the other side i'm gonna say t be equal to 13x now i'm gonna have to differentiate you with respect to x so du dx you agree with me that on the right hand side we have three differentiate t with respect to x dt dx is gonna be 13 because derivative of x is one and we have 13 there as a constant here derivative of x is one and we have three as a constant this is what we have now let's multiply uh both sides by dx we're gonna get du equals 3 dx this side you're gonna get dt equals 13 dx now if you look at this part here we have dx there we have dx so we have to get solve for dx here so that means du over 3 equals dx on the other side dt over 13 equals dx wonderful now getting back there this integral changes to half the integral of cosine of u cosine of u du over 3 remember that's our dx d over 3 and then we have minus half the integral of cosine of t instead of 13x we put t dx is equal to dt over 13 dt over 13 now take 3 out take 13 out because we are dividing so here we have 1 over 2 times 1 over 3 we have 1 over 6 the integral of cosine of u du minus 1 over 13 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 26 times the integral of cosine of t dt now uh, integral of cosine is sine remember that integral of cosine is sine so here we're gonna say this is equal to 1 over 6 sine u minus 1 over 26 sine t and then we have to say plus c because this integral is an indefinite one it has no limits of integration now we must revert back to the original variable that we have and the relationship between u and x and t and x uh, those two relationships can be found here there remember u equals 3x and t equals 13x i must put 3x here 13x here then i'm done completing this on the next page uh what we're saying now is we can simply say that is equal to one over uh, six sine of three x minus one over twenty six sine of thirteen x plus c so this is the final solution to the integral we are working on in this video just to remind you the integral of our focus is 
uh, this one here. Here is the integral of our focus. The integral of sine 8x, sine 5x dx. This is how you approach it by using double angle formula, a compound angle formula for cosine. Remember over here, we had to write compound angle. Remember compound angle is the sum or difference of two angles. So that's compound angle formula. For cosine, we had to subtract the two because the term we're looking at is at the end there. Otherwise, if you're looking for this term here, if I had cos cos there, I would have simply added the two equations together. But now I have my, I, I need sine sine. So and, uh, the signs here are different, I have to subtract so that uh, the two become one term and therefore we can simplify, rewrite that in terms of the sum or difference. In this case, difference of two um, expressions of cosine. All right, this is how we approach it. I hope you appreciated that. Um, I'll see you in the next one.